um, going to 25 years, there'll be at least 10 billion humanoid robots. Um, right. Yeah, the price point will be, I think, quite low. Um, probably $20,000, $25,000 for a robot that can do anything. Elon has shared in his typical style. We know the updated versions of Optimus can do everything, become a homemaker with more than 1,000 tasks. We believe that anyone wants to own an Optimus in their home but is still worried. Tesla understands that problem. From 2025, you can rent Optimus for use on demand from only $2,500 to $10,000 depending on the time you want to experience. And recently, another bold statement with the Optimus population ratio on the market will be two times larger than humans by 2040. Oh, let time answer. Welcome to Techno Creator. Let's start today's content. What is the pricing strategy for Optimus Rentals? At the 2024 shareholder meeting, Elon Musk announced the Optimus Gen 2 humanoid robot, priced between $10,000 and $20,000. The introduction of Optimus is set to revolutionize the global labor market. This robot could potentially reduce Tesla's workforce by up to 70% by 2030. In fact, Optimus has already begun autonomously performing tasks, such as battery handling at one of Tesla's facilities, according to previous earnings reports. In the home setting, Optimus has the potential to free us from mundane chores, making our lives easier and more convenient. With these advancements, we are moving closer to a future where robots are not just helpful tools, but essential components of our daily lives. It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher or babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of. Tesla aims to produce the Optimus robot at a cost-effective price, with an estimated production cost of around $10,000, half the cost of one of its vehicles. The company plans to employ mass production techniques using GigaPress technology to further reduce costs. Initially, the robots will be available for rent, with broader sales expected from 2028 to 2030. This phased approach ensures accessibility and cost efficiency, enhancing both cost effectiveness and functionality. This strategy positions Tesla as a leader in the robotics industry, allowing it to capture a significant market share over the next 10 to 15 years. With 50 Optimus robots showcased at the launch event and currently operating in the company's factories, Tesla plans to distribute them strategically to optimize knowledge sharing across different work phases for the next generation of robots. We anticipate that by December of this year, Tesla will provide around 2,000 Optimus units to partners across various sectors, including hazardous and mundane jobs in logistics and healthcare, starting at a price of $10,000 each. Currently, Tesla continues its vehicle leasing policy, excluding the Cybertruck model offering competitive rates and convenient payment options through its mobile app. For the Model 3, lease prices range from $400 to $669 per month over a 36-month term, depending on the selected version. Notably, longer lease terms come with proportional discounts and various promotional offers, maximizing the benefits for customers. For individuals and families eager to experience the capabilities of the Optimus robot before making a purchase decision, Tesla is pleased to offer a leasing service at a rate of $1,500 per month. While this price may seem higher compared to vehicle leases mentioned earlier, the value you receive is entirely different. Optimus not only automates 100% of your tasks, but also provides significant emotional value, allowing you to save time and effort. Tesla encourages customers to lease for extended periods, ranging from four to nine months, with promotional rates between $5,000 and $10,000. This is a fantastic opportunity to experience cutting-edge technology and explore the benefits that Optimus can bring to your daily life. How might Elon's statement impact Optimus if it comes to fruition? Elon Musk is known for his bold statements, often with a 50-50 chance of coming true. Recently, he said, I think by 2040, there will probably be more humanoid robots than people. Every country will have an AI or multiple AIs, and there will be a lot of robots, way more robots than people. At the Future Investment Initiative Conference in Saudi Arabia, he believes that by 2040, the global population of humanoid robots could exceed that of humans. 
a striking prediction from someone who has also warned about human population decline. Currently, the Earth's population stands at 8.2 billion, and according to the U.S. Director of National Intelligence, this number is expected to rise to 9.2 billion by 2040. So, is Musk overly optimistic in predicting that we will have hundreds of millions of Optimus robots by then? Perhaps especially since Optimus has not yet gained widespread acceptance among the public. Achieving this goal will likely require more time and sustainable development. However, we cannot overlook Tesla's significant transformation. From being a leading electric vehicle manufacturer, Tesla is expanding into automation and artificial intelligence. The Optimus project is showing promising signs. Musk recently announced that Optimus would be priced under $30,000, with the potential to become the most popular product in industrial history. This naturally invites comparisons to the advancements that Boston Dynamics has taken over a decade to achieve. In just under three years, Optimus has launched four increasingly refined versions, receiving enthusiastic feedback from the tech community. Musk is confident that robots will become an essential part of daily life, and within the next one to two years, AI will be capable of performing any task that humans can do. In discussions, he has noted that he believes AI will be able to do anything humans can do within a year or two, and by 2028 AI could perform what all humans combined can do with a global population of 8 billion. Imagine, by 2040, we might be able to sit back and let robots take care of us. Could there be a day when Optimus is literally feeding us? However, the reality is that while Optimus's capabilities are impressive, it still needs time to become fully functional and useful. With its debut only at the end of 2021, discussing the next 15 years seems premature. Musk's ambitious hopes may appear outlandish, but the potential that Optimus holds cannot be denied. While the idea of a robot population surpassing 8 billion humans sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, predicting such a future in today's industrial landscape remains a challenge. How will Tesla completely secure the Tesla bot? Optimus was initially created by Elon Musk to ensure that the robotics industry and the world of AI would be safe, non-harmful, and non-destructive as this technology emerged. Many robot companies have introduced their technology, and the increasing number of startups raises a significant question and fear among many people. Most of us still have concerns that the development of the Tesla bot might lead to a new generation of iRobot movies. Perhaps Elon Musk's goal in creating the Tesla bot was to prevent the disasters that humans might create. At present, the strength and agility of robots have not reached the levels seen in science fiction movies. However, at some point in the future, when Optimus is upgraded to the 10th or 11th generation, we are certain that the capabilities of robots will become more concerning. Nonetheless, safety considerations have long been a priority for Elon Musk, with enhanced anti-hacking features in the next generation humanoid robots. To support this claim, let's revisit a competition held at the Siskin Computer Security Conference in China in 2014, which offered a $10,000 reward for anyone who could hack a Tesla Model S. All that was achieved was gaining control over the opening and closing of the doors. Additionally, Tesla continuously recruits for its cybersecurity team to identify vulnerabilities and patch them regularly through remote updates. Our concern is not just about the robots themselves, but about AI, a growing risk as the robotics industry shifts its focus from hardware to software and integrates AI applications. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the operating system or supporting software of robots, including the robot operating system. Despite its name, ROS is not a traditional operating system, but rather an open source framework or middleware that provides a set of tools, libraries, and conventions designed to simplify the creation of complex and powerful robot behaviors across various robotic platforms. Common threats include the public accessibility of ROS nodes, weak authentication and authorization mechanisms, and vulnerable communication protocols. The open source nature of ROS also makes it susceptible to the same vulnerabilities that commonly affect open source software in general. However, Tesla does not currently use ROS. 
Instead, they are opting for hardware and software developed for their self-driving vehicle. This approach is somewhat similar to the development process of iOS, the renowned operating system created by Steve Jobs at Apple. Although it initially faced skepticism from the public, in the end, well, you probably already know what the outcome was. Furthermore, Elon Musk has long considered a remote shutdown button, essentially allowing users to immediately power off the robot via devices such as their phones if Tesla detects a security breach or malfunction during use. Safety is maximized as Tesla has developed technical work related to neural networks and the Dojo supercomputer, tasks that Optimus learns through a tightly controlled supercomputer environment overseen by the team. This rigorous approach ensures that Optimus learning algorithms are continually refined and tested in real time, with constant updates and improvements based on the latest data. Additionally, Tesla's robust cybersecurity measures, including regular software audits and vulnerability assessments, contribute to a secure operational environment. By integrating these advanced safety protocols, Tesla aims to mitigate potential risks and enhance the reliability of Optimus in various applications, from industrial settings to consumer environments. What role does the Dojo play with the Optimus? Tesla's vision-based approach is the main reason Tesla needs a supercomputer. The neural networks behind FSD are trained on a vast amount of driving data to recognize and classify objects around the vehicle and then make driving decisions. In other words, Tesla aims to create a digital replica of the human visual cortex and brain function, which is applied to Tesla Bot to essentially enable the robot to learn from knowledge. To achieve this, Tesla needs to store and process all the video data collected from its vehicles around the world and run millions of simulations to train its model on this data. However, everything remains at the stage of inputting knowledge without surpassing human control and cognition. Dojo is a high-stakes gamble. It is built as a central brain-like component, similar to Skynet but with enhanced safety measures. The plan to upgrade Tesla Bot goes beyond just the design. Improvements in artificial intelligence are essential for Optimus to achieve a truly autonomous state in the literal sense. So what has Tesla outlined in their plan? In Tesla's first presentation on AI Day in 2021, Elon Musk announced that Optimus would be built on their full self-driving computer hardware. This surprised many of us, as building different types of robots typically requires significantly different hardware and architecture. Elon Musk has revealed new details about Tesla's next-generation self-driving computer, which many anticipate will be named Hardware 5, or AI5, following over a year of using Hardware 4. This will be the most powerful hardware version yet, as AI5 is expected to consume approximately four times the energy of Hardware 3 and Hardware 4. It will require a much stronger effort than before. Uh, Optimus is already performing tasks in our factory, um, and uh, we expect to have Optimus production version 1 in, in limited production starting early next year. Uh, this will be for uh, Tesla consumption. We can assume that Tesla will set a fairly ambitious timeline for the rollout of this product. Given that the RoboTaxi launch event is scheduled for the latter half of this year, the new AI5 might be used for fully autonomous self-driving vehicles without steering wheels, or for an affordable $25,000 vehicle. It could even be employed in the production of thousands of Optimus robots, with a projected increase of more than 20,000 AI5 units. Through this, Optimus is confident it can collect data up to 10 times faster than the previous version, thanks to accelerated data gathering on the new hardware. With high demands for healthcare and family care, performing tasks accurately is more crucial than ever to provide information and alerts about health based on a wealth of medical knowledge. Not only that, a language model that is said to rival OpenAI recently launched has already surpassed hundreds of other AI models. Grok AI, which will be integrated into Optimus, aims to enhance learning capabilities and communication as Tesla embraces updates to voice and language features. With a focus on affordability and exceptional quality, Tesla will take additional time to refine the Tesla bot to ensure its launch meets humanity's expectations during the waiting period. So what do you think about this? How safe is the new Tesla bot worth your money? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, 
join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.